I already did show you some ways how you can hide your photos on your iPhone or iPad, but let's make things simpler with this ultimate method on how you can do it. At first, I've shown you the calculator app, the fake one, where you just open it up, you type the password in into a working calculator, and it's going to open up like a secret menu where you can upload your photos, which are, of course, going to be hidden. So this is a regular way how people do that, and it's pretty safe and good to use this technique. Of course, the link to that app is down below in the description. I've also shown you how to hide your photos in a note. So you just go to the stock notes app, you create a brand new one and you just import some photos. It doesn't really matter what kind of note or photos it is. I mean, you just import it into that specific node which you are able to lock with the password. So it is a password protected note and no one would actually ever think that you you can have like photos in the notes so it's pretty good use of that technique and way but why don't you just click on the hide button in the camera roll well there is one problem with it and that is that when you click on hide you you actually hide the photo but the album code hidden is visible to everyone and you just move it to a folder which is like somewhere deeper in the camera uh, camera roll app but it is still there and it just doesn't disappear it is just in a folder which is named hidden which doesn't really solve the problem right but if you go to the settings of your iphone and you just go to the camera settings i mean you go to the gallery settings of course so this is the photos and there you will see the option called hidden album so when this is enabled the hidden album will appear in the albums tab under utilities that means that it's going to be visible in the gallery app and if this is something that you don't want i mean and if, if this is something you want to avoid then you just have to disable this option in the settings and once you hide a photo in the gallery then it's just going to be hidden forever and no one will ever find it in the gallery unless you come back to the settings again and enable this option again so I think that this is pretty clever because it's very easy and very simple to use. So this is the tip that I wanted to give you in this video. I really do hope that you like this kind of content. And if you do, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the next tips, the next videos in which I'm going to be explaining similar things and topics. And if you enjoyed this one, then just leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe so you will probably enjoy the next content in the future as well. The same thing applies to videos just as much as to photos, like of course it's the same thing, it applies to every file in the gallery, and also once it is in the hidden folder, you don't have to worry about the specific photo being in other visible folders. That means that if you have a photo of your dog and you, you create a folder which is named dog, you put the photos there, but from the main camera roll gallery you simply hide it it's also going to be hidden from the dog album of course it's going to be hidden from the entire gallery so this is the clever way of doing that because of course it doesn't rely on any third party app or it's not like in the, in the note app or something you just hide it and it's just hidden and that's why it should be and how it should be so that would be it for this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. And like I say, if you if you want to see more videos like this one in the future, make sure to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. And just like we used to say back in the day, smashing those buttons was a thing. But anyways, thanks a lot for your support. We have crossed 100,000 subscribers, which I'm, of course, really grateful and thankful for. So again, thanks a lot for your support and see you guys later in the next video. Peace out, guys.